Welcome. This is a bit of a follow-up video on the uh, musings about the word agile and why I don't call some things agile anymore. Uh, you can watch that here if you want to. And uh, a response on LinkedIn was, how would we call these organizations that we used to call agile organizations? And in another comment, somebody uh, was talking about business agility. And let's do this step by step. So um, I wonder what we need these labels for. Like who needs to call this organization or label this organization? Agile, teal, tortoise, humane, you name it. And there's a similar question about, that I also um, referenced in the previous video, like how do we call leadership classes, agile leadership classes? What is agile leadership? And uh, I will talk about that in another video, but the uh, idea of labeling something, like when I go to a piano class, I'm not going to an agile piano class, quick piano class, Agile piano class, um, elegant piano class. I just want to get better at playing the piano. And there will be special courses for finger techniques or um, speed or um, classical um, playing with a score or improvisation in jazz. Similar to uh, leadership classes where we have conflict management. Do we need agile conflict management? Or do we just assume that people coming to a conflict management class want to learn how to manage conflicts well? And that people coming to a leadership class want to become better leaders? And that organizations just want to run well? Um, obviously a distinction into industries, big and small, like there's lots of useful distinctions for different organizations. But I'm not sure why Agile would be a useful distinction or teal or like does the organization aspire to be better well yes maybe um does it want to be better in a specific way what does it even mean that the organization wants something like if i meet an organization and it's fairly independent of a client consultant um stakeholder, supplier, whatever. Um, I assume th certain things and I think that's helpful. Um, if I'm um, buying a service, I expect that service to be good. If I'm buying a software, I expect that software to do its job and to improve over time, um, ideally fairly quickly. If I work in an organization, I like to be treated well I like things to change in appropriate ways. Do I care about labels? I don't know. And maybe that's where we're getting. Like uh, if I want to advertise my organization to potential employees, maybe saying that we're agile might make sense because maybe that attracts some employees. I don't know. Maybe saying we're a new work organization attracts some employees. But when we're working in the organization, what difference does that make? Does it make everything has to be new? Everything has to be agile? Does that give us any meaningful information for our conversations, for our decisions? Does it make anything easier? That's what I'm wondering about. So what difference is the label, the category supposed to make? Who is wanting to categorize organizations in different stages. Don't get me started about that. Maybe that's another video too, but um, no. And uh, if it's just that I'm better than you are, okay, that's not my game. Is it about judging you are better than you? I don't necessarily want to be involved in this game. Or is this going to become a thing that I used to be involved in as an agile coach um, or agile trainer, agile evangelist, which gives something away. 
Like I have understood how I can make your world better and you better follow me. And if you follow me, then you will be happier. That's what churches do. Um, used to do, maybe. Um, and I, I've done that um, for, in that moment, reasons that I consider to be good reasons. I've learned and I don't do that anymore because I don't presume that I know what's good for anyone else. My favorite Terry Pratchett quote is, you can't go ahead and build a better world for people. Only people can build a better world for people. Otherwise, it's just a cage. And that's where I'm going to end this one. Thank you very much.